The change that we must embrace is not a simple change of political structure or economic policy, but rather a complete revolution of consciousness and awareness within the human mind. Houston, we're going to go talk to people at Sundance Cinemas about Zero Dark Thirty, the latest propaganda film related to Osama bin Laden and his role in the 9-11 attacks. I went and saw this film yesterday, so did Natalie, who's behind the camera, and Cody, a couple of other, other free thinkers. And pretty much from start to finish, it's a propaganda film. In the very beginning, they replay the uh, phone calls from people inside the buildings on 9-11. They get you emotionally, right from the beginning, get you to remember what it felt like to watch those buildings fall and to uh, want to go after terrorists and into straight in, ne in the first scene it's torture pretty much from beginning to end so we're here to ask people what they think about the use of torture and getting information and also what they think about the holes in the official Osama bin Laden myth that has been perpetuated on the American people and the people of the world really for the past 10, 10 years at least we know Osama bin Laden most likely died in 2001 shortly after the 9-11 attacks and that he also never claimed a role in the attacks despite what the mainstream media says. So we're here to inform people about that. Did y'all just see Zero Dark Thirty? Yes. Would y'all like to do an interview for our YouTube channel? Uh, no, thanks. Absolutely. It's for our YouTube channel, the Houston Free Thinkers. We are here at Sundance Cinemas downtown Houston. We're talking with... Chase. Chase. And Chris. Chase and Chris. Bobby. Bobby. Cliff Helm Camp. Cliff. What made you come out and see this film tonight? Uh, it just looked like a badass movie that I needed to see. What did you think about it? It was really good. It was one of the best movies I've seen in a while. Yeah. You think it's going to win Best Picture? Uh, probably. Does it deserve Best Picture? Yes. I, I thought it was too long. It could have been edited quite a bit. Yeah, it was about two hours and 45 minutes. Right. It was too long. But uh, we got to the nitty gritty. It was pretty. On a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the most accurate and 1 being the least accurate, how historically accurate do you believe this film to be? Um, I would say pretty, would pretty say it accurate. Close. It was close to everything. They they purposely left certain parts out, I guess that were up to, um, you know, I guess that were questionable. From what I've heard, that is pretty close to uh, nine or ten, I would guess. Not knowing all the details behind it, I think there's a whole lot that we're probably not entitled to know. Um, I would have to say on the seven eight range. I mean, there's got to be some Hollywood in it. Um, I haven't really heard about how accurate it is, but I assume it's going to be pretty close to the truth. Yeah. There's so many discrepancies in, in the story that they use that they say they got from the Obama administration that the whole film is pretty much based on a lie. I mean, yeah. there's, besides starting with the, uh, the media reports that, like, okay, Osama bin Laden, first he used his wife as a shield, then his wife wasn't there, and like all right. these things that happened. Yeah. And, you know, some of that maybe you can explain, like, there's a lot of chaos going on. But yeah. there's also, they, they took all these pictures of the body, supposedly, but nobody's seen them. They jumped the body yeah. immediately in the yeah, ocean. In the ocean, yeah. And SEAL Team 6, the team that was involved in the mission, they were all killed in a helicopter crash shortly after. And I don't know what that means, but it's just a little weird. And also, Osama bin Laden has been reported dead nine times since 2001. Oh. By BBC, by Fox News, by Pakistani papers, by a number of papers, that most likely he died in November of 2001 in Tora Bora from dialysis, uh, uh, diabetes kidney, competition. Kidney issues, yeah. yeah, he had a lot of kidney issues. Yeah, and too. so what it seems to be is that Osama bin Laden is more of a myth that has been propagated for the past 10 years to help build up this police state, this focus on um, domestic terrorists, and also to allow things like this. If you do watch it, you'll see a lot of torture. Yeah. So it's it's kind so, of to desensitize it. Uh, what are your feelings on torture? Um, no, I don't have a real comment about that. Uh, well, obviously they're not just going to come out and give us the information that we want. So I, I mean, somebody's got to we got to get information somehow, and I don't know of any other better way to get it. <laughs> you think the torture changed under uh, the Obama administration? Oh, definitely. The movie makes that clear that the political environment definitely affected it. Have you ever heard of Bradley Manning, either one of you guys? He's a very important man. Look him up. Look up free Bradley Manning. Just look up that phrase. He um, was involved with, supposedly involved, he's accused of being involved with Le WikiLeaks with releasing a video, a helicopter cam video that they called collateral murder yeah. that shows these army officers um, firing on innocent people. And so the video got leaked and, you know, it went viral through the media and all this. You think this is a new thing? What? The, oh, what they're doing? No, no, no. What I'm getting at is that Bradley Manning then was 
taken by the military and he's been held in, under military tribunal under the Obama administration, you know, without access to the media, without trial until just recently, you know. Right. And the movie and a lot of people seem to believe that that type of thing stopped under Obama's administration. Right. No, it didn't. And, and it obviously didn't start with it either, you know that. Absolutely. So when do you think this, this kind of stuff started? Uh, it started in 1776. From the very beginning? Yeah. It's, it's about results. Right. Well, knowing that um, torture didn't actually lead to the capture of, according to the United States government, didn't actually lead to the capture of Osama bin Laden, does that make you feel any different about torture, or do you feel that it That's could I'd still... Say, I'd have to say that, who were we to say that the government did or didn't, and who can really say if it worked or if it didn't work? Well, it is a big controversy right now that some people feel that it's kind of just pushing this pro-torture, you know, like making it more acceptable, since it has gone on in the Middle East, but it hasn't actually resulted in any vital information so far. Your, your thoughts on that? Like, you say that, that you believe that it's, it has gone down. I mean, and I watched the movie yesterday. I saw they have a scene where Obama says, we are not torturing, and everybody in the room is kind of quietly like, uh... Well, yeah. I, mean, I think, I mean, they did what they had to do. I mean, they, in the end, they, were sa they saved lives. They had to hurt some people, but, I mean, sometimes that's what has to happen. So, I mean, in, in your eyes, torture is justified to protect the homeland? I would say, I mean, if it were, if it, I think anybody would say, if, you know, if it was someone that you had, you had to do something to protect, let's say, your kid, I think a father would do anything to protect their kid. If they had to, if it was their child's li life on the line, and you look at it that way. So, I don't know. I don't really agree with this on something that's great, but Nobody I understand what happened. And it just, it's, sometimes that's what happens. Yeah. You know, people have to do stuff. Do stuff to get the bad guys, huh? Yeah. Do you think that the... The torture that they showed was justified in order to um, carry out the mission they said they had to do? I do agree in, uh, with torture when it's uh, national security. Yeah, I would do that. Um, would you support torture on American citizen if it was in the interest of national security? Uh, you mean of our own people? Sure. Knowing that fact that none of, none of these torture techniques actually, not even the detainee program as a matter of fact, according to the United States government, actually led to the capture of Osama bin Laden. Does that change your opinion at all on using torture? Also, I'd like to note that it is a violation of international law. Yeah, but, I mean, just because some people said that that wasn't going on, that's probably some PR. There was probably some torture going on somewhere. <laughs> what, what, would, uh, what would you think if I was to tell you that Osama bin Laden has been reported nine t dead nine times since 2001? Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd never heard anything else inside the U.S. media saying that. I don't know anything about that. It was actually reported shortly after 9-11 um, by, reprinted by ABC from a Pakistani paper, uh, the funeral, the funeral arrangements of Osama bin Laden and his family. They said that he died from diabetes com uh, complications in November 2001 I, in, in Tora Bora. I, I don't know why they would pretend like he's alive if he's not, but I... I, I think he was really murdered recently on the uh, by the SEAL Team Six. So, okay. Well, I'd like to give you just a, that, a copy of that article if you're okay with that, just to take with you to read. Sure. Thank you. Man. Well, I have a copy of an article here if you'd like to just take home for your own uh, your own information. This is reported in the BBC in 2001. Do you want to take that copy? Like torture? Well, just our 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 um, our our way of using the executive branch of of uh, making. Um, uh, making making activities like torture being seen as as we're the better you know, we're it's okay the the ends justify the means. So okay, so you're just you executive branch decisions and our and our country's decisions. So do you think the executive branch has too much control? Like you know beyond just the political games? Of they do. Of course they do. We got to go to my movie. Almost dictatorial control. I wouldn't say dictatorial is a control because actually we give them the right to do that until you get out there and you keep doing what you're doing. Right, you keep doing what you're doing, and we get to decide what they, who they are, and we got to stop being brainwashed by the bullshit that gets fed to us. And once that's done, once you keep doing that, yeah, once you, once that's done, you tell that to them. I'm just the guy you're interviewing on the street. Once that's done, and we realize we're living in a democracy, then it'll be taken care of. But our leadership is just a representation of us, and they're poor at that. Yeah. Have a good night, man. Well. So we are outside Sundance Cinema, downtown Houston. 
trying to talk to people about Zero Dark Thirty. We've got a couple of people talk to this guy just about politics. It seems for the most part people are buying the propaganda. They believe this is a accurate. One guy said nine out of ten as far as accuracy, and people think the, tor the torture is justified. Every single answer we've gotten so far was that yes, torture even on American citizens is justified if it defends national security. No mention of the protecting the Constitution or anything. And even the nice fellow we just talked to seemed to believe we're supposed to have a democracy. So there's a lot of uh, misinformed people out here. We're going to keep trying to talk to them.